Um, my name is Steve Burke. I'm one of the co-founders here at the International Church of Cannabis. Right. Awesome, man. Well, thanks for having us today. And uh, tell us a little bit about the, uh, the start of this, why you guys did it, what's going on yeah, nowadays. So, uh, this actually all happened really by accident. Uh, I'm in the real estate business, and uh, I was here 420 of 2015. And I was eating uh, brunch with one of my influencers. I have a, a cannabis digital media network called Bang Digital Media. And I was here meeting with one of my in influencers and there was a big for sale sign on this property. And uh, so I came, took a look at the property, ended up buying the property with my family. And originally this was intended to be like a real estate investment, condos, apartments, something like that. And uh, you know, all of our co-founders are from Florida. And we were in Miami, we were sitting there in Florida, was voting on medical marijuana, it didn't get legalized, and we were sitting there in our offices saying, what are we still doing here in Florida? You know, if we want to get clients and we want to, we want to, let's go to Denver. Right. And we were thinking, well, we have this property in Denver, what are we going to do with it? And uh, that's when the, the wheels started turning and we said, we decided that it was better to keep this place a church than turn it into condos or something like that, keep the preservation of this building alive. It's been a church since 1904, mm -hmm. and there's been many different iterations of different religions being practiced in here. So uh, we started an interfaith church, and the, the members of our church are called Elevationists. And Elevationists believe that an individual's spiritual journey and search for fulfillment is a personal experience that can be heightened and deepened with ritual cannabis. So rather than it being a, a replacement to your existing faith, it's more of a supplement to it. You get to keep the God that you believe in. We have members that come to our services every week that are Jewish, Catholic, Protestant, Buddhist, Hindu, atheist. How many churches in the world do you know that have atheists that show up every single week sitting next to people who absolutely 100% believe in Jesus? There's not too many places like that. So we're a very tolerant interfaith church. Every single week our services are different. Every week we have a different guest speaker. Think like TED Talks meets yeah. uh, Inside the Actors Studio with James Lipton. Nice. Uh, we nice. have a, a, an engaging conversation. Members are allowed to bring their own weed into the church. Smoke here. We have ashtrays behind each one of these pews. Look at that, guys. <laughs> what? And uh, yeah, members are allowed to come bring their own weed. Every week we have a different guest speaker. We have a different band. And then we have a big potluck barbecue. Pun intended. Uh, <laughs> we have a big potluck barbecue afterwards, and everybody eats. Oh, you got a special guest. Uh oh. <laughs> <gasps> Who's this baby? This, this Look at that. Mr. Munchie the dog. What? Hey, Munchie. Hey, oh, what a sweet boy. This is our church puppy, Munchie. He's here. How old day. is he? If anybody wants to come and visit the church. <laughs> Pet a dog. He, uh, he's a year and three months old. Oh, we He's on him. Instagram as at Mr. Munchie the dog. At Mr. Munchie the dog. A rescue dog that we rescued here in Colorado. The best. And he's here every day. Nice. I run along. <laughs> See you, brother. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So, uh, our services Friday evenings, come check us out. You have to be a member to come to services. And how do you become a member? It's very simple. You just go on our website, internationalchurchofcannabis.com. You can sign up to be a member. You need to show your membership and your uh, ID in order to get in. It's a 21 and over church. And uh, you're allowed to come to services on Friday evenings, bring your own cannabis, consume, and hopefully you'll take back a nugget of wisdom with you. What awesome. Our doors open at 6 o'clock. Uh, services start at 6.30. And uh, we're generally done by about 9, 9.30. Okay. okay. Um, but yeah, it's rad. Every week, different bands playing. We Are they all local bands? Are you getting some bigger names in we here? We get bands from all over. I mean, we had, a, uh, we had a great band play last week called uh, Poor Free City. Um, previous, we, we've had Young the Giant in here. We've got oh, Spirit nice. City wants to play in oh, wow. here. Oh, that would um, be dope. We, we are going to get some bigger bands, but uh, you know, you have to work out with their yeah, tour of course. manager and of course. band manager and all that stuff. So right now we're working with a lot of local bands. We certainly encourage anybody who's anywhere near us to come and, and, and play for our congregation. Yeah. And uh, come check us out. Yeah. What, what Do you have any other plans of growing this more, like branching so out? That, that's a good question. We've had people from all over the world ask about opening up branches in their city or their country. Uh, I think for us to be successful, we have to prove it here first. Right. We're not proven yet. You know, people think that you know all churches like just they exist and. There's a business model behind it. You have to be able to pay your electric bills. You have to be able to pay your gas bills. You know, you, we, we, all, the air conditioning that's on right behind us, we have to pay for that. It's like two grand a month for our, for our bills. 
and uh, we have to prove ourselves to be financially viable in this location and we're a donation based church mm -hmm. so we need your donations for us to continue to exist we're the first large venue in the world where people can legally consume cannabis wow. in a social environment we're a 13,000 square foot property right in downtown Denver about a mile south of downtown and uh, we need your support you can go on our website and donate if you like what we're doing if you believe that adults have a right to to peacefully consume cannabis in a spiritual environment, please help us out because right now we're still bleeding money. Okay. Can you just go over, uh, because more people join, man, can you just go over the, the, the couple hot spots just for people joining in again? Um, just about um, how you guys got started one more time. Just yeah, because. I mean, basically, we're, we're a group of co founders who started this nonprofit organization in Denver. Uh, mainly because we believe that adults everywhere have a legal right to consume cannabis in a safe and social environment. Uh, we believe that there's the cannabis plant has existed for thousands of years. People have been using it for spiritual purposes dating back to ancient China. There's evidence of this in manuscripts. I mean, this plant has evolved alongside with human beings. So we believe that if you're a religious person, uh, you know, you certainly uh, can consume cannabis without worrying about going to hell. You know? it's not, <laughs> right. you, you don't have to worry about that. There's a verse in the Bible, Genesis 1 29, that says, Behold, I shall give you every herb bearing seed on this whole earth for your consumption. There and, you go. Uh, and so you can be a practicing Christian and a practicing elevationist. You can be a practicing Jew and a practicing elevationist. You can be an atheist and still be an elevationist. You could stack them. Absolutely. You could stack your beliefs, guys. It's about in... your spiritual journey. We don't tell you how to go on it. We don't tell you which God to believe in. We cool. just encourage you to be spiritual and go on that journey. Well, awesome, brother. Well, I appreciate your time. We appreciate your time here at Sold. And uh, yeah, man, I'm going to cruise down.